Hey everybody, this is Brian, and uh, welcome back. I have not done a video in... Wow, I don't even remember last time I did a video. I know it's been at least five, six months. Maybe less, but my memory is kind of faded because it's been so long. Oh my gosh, things have just been so busy. I have not had a chance to even breathe. Um, so what have I been working on? I'm glad you asked. Um, I have been working my tail off at work. Um, I, I changed jobs. Not only did I change jobs, I changed careers. Um, I was a network admin, I'm sorry, a server administrator. They call them a network administrator, but I was a server administrator and I don't even touch servers anymore. I'm now management. I manage over a group of people that do uh, telecom work, routers, switches. I also manage another group of people that do uh, Unix systems, backups, things like that. Um, so I was contractually obligated to get a Cisco certified network administrator or a CCNA within six months. So I was just study, study, study for months on end. I did get my CCNA, but I've been so busy. If you go to voidrealms.com, you can see that I have not even had a chance to put it in my certification list. I don't even think it's on my resume right now. I should probably update my resume. Anyways, um, so yes, I have been working my tail off. Um, I've really been soul searching. I miss programming so much. I love .NET and Qt. Um, I have to admit I've been loving Qt a heck of a lot more than .NET lately, especially now that I've seen some of the future visions of Microsoft with the abomination that's going to be Windows 8 and they're taking away all the free tools. There'll be no more Express versions. Um, boo, Microsoft. Bad Microsoft. So, I don't know. Um, I'll probably... I don't know. I think I'm going to focus more on Qt because I really love the language. But I also want to dive a little bit more into Java and non-Microsoft technologies. Uh, maybe some Linux tutorials are in order. Um, also, oh yeah, I was in a relationship and it ended badly. Um, it's one of those awkward things. I'm not going to use YouTube as therapy. I know some people do. I just I don't feel the need to really talk about it. But I did want to kind of bring it up so you know I've been busy. Um, we're trying to be friends. A lot of people say that, dude, that never works. Being friends just never works. Cut your losses and run. But we're going to try and be friends. Don't know if it'll work, but I'm willing to give it a shot. And this little jump for joy is not about the relationship being over. It's about my daughter. She graduated high school. So it was a really big push on her part and mine as well to get her through high school. And now she's going to be starting college in about a month um, which is part of the reason why I took the management role simply because I need money to put her through college um, yeah that's if you've ever been through a breakup or a job change or college where's my little job change um, you know exactly how stressful that can be so all of that's just been unwieldy and then my house oh my goodness holy home repairs Batman I mean Wow, I put this little graphic up because it kind of represents my house. I've been doing electrical, I've been doing structural, I've been doing accessibility, I've been doing extermination and rodent, I've been doing, I did plumbing yesterday. Um, heating is uh, next on my list. I think the only thing I haven't done is ripped the house down and rebuilt it from the ground up. So, wow, I think I have touched a skill saw more than I've touched a keyboard in the last six months. It's just been ridiculous, but... Uh, knock on wood, I don't want to jinx it, I think most of my home repairs are done, so maybe I can get back into doing more videos. Um, I put this little page in here, this is actually archive.org. Um, this is something I've been kind of searching for. Uh, I'm looking for a way of uploading things, namely my videos, to something other than YouTube. YouTube is awesome, it's great, but I get a lot of feedback saying, Brian, I'm sorry, I live in a country where either A, YouTube is banned, or the bandwidth to YouTube is so horrible, is there any way you can put it on like a BitTorrent or a, a network news or something that'll allow for you know broken downloads to resume? Well, I've been searching high and low, and archive.org um, is aiming to be the library of the internet. And I've talked with them a couple times, and they said, yeah, you can upload videos, and they will host them, and they will even make BitTorrents and seed them. Um, so I'm really looking for something like that. I might do, when I get the time, a couple trial runs with archive.org just to see how that works. And which brings us full circle to the reason why you're probably watching this is my YouTube channel. It has been horribly neglected for a long time, and I have to apologize. But if you look at these numbers, man, I think the last time I looked at this, I had 2,000 subscribers. So this is just quadrupled in my subscription base. It's just ridiculous. 
and video views over a million views look at that wow one million views if I had a dollar for every one of those views you wouldn't be watching this video right now because I'd be on a beach somewhere just relaxing and I'm about as white and nerdy as they come so I need a lot of sunblock um, but this kind of brings up a good point is out of these one million views probably a quarter of these have sent me a message of some kind through some media whether it be email or YouTube or Facebook or um, I even had one guy I don't know how he did it looked at my personal cell phone number I'm like whoa dude seriously but um, I, there's so much feedback that I don't think I could possibly in a lifetime respond to all of it so if you're one of those users that's you know sent me a message and feel like you're totally just getting blown off I'm sorry there's just no way I can keep up with the feedback I'm really hoping that you know some of the more advanced users that have been watching these videos um, kind of chime in and start you know helping you guys out I just I simply there's no way I can keep up with it um, I love getting feedback. I love reading what you guys tell me. I mean, even if it's something I totally screwed up on, um, I mean, that's how you learn. It's a community and you give feedback. But I just, I cannot get through all this feedback. I wish I could. I wish I could just get paid to sit here and do this all day, but unfortunately I have obligations. So, um, I guess that being said, if you're one of those people that have messaged me and have gotten a response, feel very, very fortunate because there's a lot of people out there saying, Brian, where you at, bro? But uh, what I wanted to do is kind of address where I want to go in the future here um, with Qt and .NET. Like I said, I actually, did I say it? I don't know. Um, I really kind of want to focus on Qt and maybe Java, not so much .NET anymore. Although I will probably do like a full... VB, C Sharp from, you know, inception all the way up to like web and desktop programming. I just have to find the time. But I think the core of our tutorials are going to be focused more on Qt and then more on Java, just because that's where my interest is headed. So anyways, um, this is Brian. That's a picture of me, this handsome young fellow. Um, you see I'm not smiling because that's all the home repair that I have been working on and I have no hair because of it. So thank you for watching. I look forward to doing videos and I really I look forward to your feedback as much as I hate to say it. Chances are I may never get to it, but um, keep in touch. Let me know how you guys are doing, and just help each other out, man. Seriously, it's what we're here for.